I'd like you to sit down if you are under 60 years of age. Sit down if you're under 60 years of age. Look at this. Give these nice people a round of applause. Look at this. Remain standing if you're over 60. This is the strength and the backbone of Rotary, ladies and gentlemen. These people have seen it all. They've been president, they've been, some of them have been past district governor, they've been AGs, they've written checks, they're Paul Harris Society members. This is the backbone of Rotary. Thank you very much. Please sit down, everybody. And now I'd like the, everyone who is younger than 60 to stand up. Everyone who is younger than 60. Look at this. This is the future of Rotary, ladies and gentlemen. Fascinating. Thank you for all your energy. And if you're younger than 50, remain standing. If you're younger than 50. And now this is where it's going to get interesting. Take a look around the room. These are the future superstars. It may take them a little while to climb the ladder. If you're younger than 40, please remain standing. I told you I was going to surprise you. You didn't know these people were in the room, did you? And you know why you didn't know they were in the room? Because they're quiet. Congratulations. What's your name? Dwayne. Where are you from? Harlem. Good for you. Are you going to be president of your club? For a second time, yeah. For a second time. <laughs> I love it, man. I can't wait to visit. So, um, here's the interesting part. If you look at the distribution, and I didn't know this was going to happen, but it happens every single time. If you look at the distribution of where these people are standing, like it was a map, like a heat map. Most of the under, where are we now? 40. Most of the under 40 are sitting toward the back of the room. Is anyone surprised by this? Whoops. <laughs> Action shot. Uh, let me slip through here. Stay standing. I never ask the older people to remain standing, but I know you guys can do it. Uh, I just want to ask a couple people in the back. Hey, I think how are you? What club are you in? I'm actually forming the Rotary Club in Carney. Okay, very good. Well, why are you sitting in the back of the room? Well, um, I saw an open table and... Uh, <laughs> good strategy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find, uh, as we asked, hey, Vicky, how are you? Nice to meet you. What club, please? Uh, Fisher. Very good. And why are you sitting at one of the back tables? Seen that reserved for me. <laughs> very good. Hey, Drew, same thing? Same thing? Same thing? Didn't give it much thought. Just happened to be in the back of the room. Just happened to be in the back of the room, but most of the people are in the back of the room under 40. You see, Rotary rewards tenure. That's the nice way of saying it. Rotary rewards tenure. Rotary rewards tenure, Michael. Rotary Club of Port Jefferson? Yes. What does Rotary Rewards tenure mean? Can you just translate that for me? The longer you've been in the club, the more power they, they have or influence over the club you might have. I think that's a good way of saying it. And it, it, it's true in a lot of organizations. You know, it's true in politics. We have our oldest president. In fact, in the last election, the two, if either had been president, they'd be the oldest president ever elected. I mean, it's pretty common. But what's the danger of only rewarding older people? We might struggle with change. Whatever he said back there was a lot funnier than what I said. 